Next item on the agenda. Mayor's Award. Is Officer Chris Shaw. He's here. He's at work today. He's working the case right now. Of the pharmacist. He's going to be tired all the time. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll catch up sometime tomorrow. Yes. And we, we'll present it to him and take a photo of him. Okay. <clears throat> You may know. I'm on a dog's train, one. I'm a dog's horse, 12. Uh, transporter Monroe, 14. Deceased, one. Carnegie the pen, 19. Kind of dog food use for the month, 333 pounds. <coughs> five cats for the pound. 10 pounds of dog food. Only animals in the car right now is 24. <clears throat> well, yes. uh, last month I saw somewhere on your report about your fuel expense, didn't I? No, sir. Okay, well. Okay.
we also was presented with a flag from uh, Woodland of the World in commemoration of the 9 11 incident. And our continuing education is ongoing. In Richmond Parish, we have people uh, still taking the test for certification on firefighter one and two, instructor one, and uh, hazardous materials where <coughs> that program is still ongoing. I believe that's about all I have. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Move to accept the uh, report as been, been properly moved to accept the report. Do I have a second? Second. And properly moved and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Let the record reflect that it's unanimously approved. Chief of Police. One report from the Police Department, August 15, 2011, and Section 18, 2011, on criminal charges for making fourth year arrest for one. Uh, the high police charge for 10, uh, the battery charges followed by six to ten apiece, uh, which gives us a total of 43 charges for the one of this time frame, uh, with a total of 434 charges for the year. On the traffic side, we issued 38 traffic citations for the total of 33 for the year. Work 11 highway accident years of all the major, excuse me, all the minor, all the major injuries. Uh, parking lot worth 18, that is the parking lot for a total of 20, 29. Uh, we took 477 calls for the month, uh, which these call bears from the Sterling Peace to just uh, our one guest. Uh, also, we have started school. Uh, this has been a great school year. No problems at the school at all, no major problems, no minor problems. It's been a really great school season this fall. We look forward to the rest of the year. Also, we are conditioning the manpower. We have seen a, a decrease uh, in activity from the way increase in our neighborhoods. I do want to thank the council for that. And this concludes my report. Thank you, Chief. And properly moved and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Let the record reflect that it's unanimously approved. Economic and development report. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, on this report, we have a, a presentation where we're actually putting together, along with the uh, federal home loan bank of Dallas uh, a presentation of some checks for a new low income housing tax credit development program for our area. Uh, we have two developments that will be coming in. One is the North Brook Apartments. Uh, they're going to put in 48 units and Gary Street Village which will be 35 units. Uh, and then the other thing that we have is the microenterprise program currently has seven students in it. We still open the doors are still open for students that want to uh, attend the microenterprise program that would be interested in going to business for themselves. Uh, the uh, six hour course has been completed. The nine hour course is in process and the uh, 30 hour course will begin the first month, Monday in October. And that concludes my report. <coughs> I have a question. Okay. You. I, I was just going to ask, is the city paying for, do we, are we paying for the classes uh, that the no, students are taking? No, the city is not paying for it. It was a grant that was received through uh, Lewis and Economic Development. Uh, the students attend the class for free. It's a reimbursement program through the Lewis and Economic Development. Once again, in, in, in this agreement, it, it, it states that the city of Winslow and Ms. Debbie Price have agreed. Do we, do we have a formal agreement or a disagreement agreement or a written agreement or, or what? What do we have in this case? Well, I haven't seen anything. I'm sorry. Uh, this was a, a contract that uh, uh, Earl had talked with Price and the other lady, Rogers. Oh, uh, that's Alicia uh, Rogers. 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 And, uh, if you read the economic development grant, mm -hmm. it states in there that that grant will pay so much per hour 
uh, once they completed, they submitted, I would assume, to you, Earl? That's correct. And, and then it's submitted to the state of Louisiana, and, and, and the money comes in, and then they pay as price. Wow. That's correct. We, we pay them after we receive money from the state. Right. And that's the way the contract is. And, I, you know, they agree to it, but it's going to be a lie. I understand. What you just said. My question is, it states the city of Winsboro. Mm -hmm. The city of Winsboro then is being represented by whom? It'll be represented by the mayor. And the mayor has already signed the <coughs> agreement? Not that, not that agreement, but uh, because I think they've they agreed as per, the, as per the grant and the price and Ms. Roberts will do it. This is now putting it formally in writing as to how they're going to submit it, what they're going to do. And how they're going to be matched. Like yeah, that was a verbal agreement made between Ms. Price and, uh, you know, with the, uh, the mayor. There was a verbal agreement made. In order and to get to this point. Agreement formally put in place. Uh, had, to, had, to get to this point. Right. Had, had to first obtain the service to show they do it. <clears throat> right. And they agreed to do it and they agreed to start. That's right. And uh, without a formal contract, and now that I, I assume what you're asking her is a formal contract to do it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's just a formal written contract. Yeah, but they had already agreed, they agreed to go ahead and get started in, in good faith. And so we just put it in a, a formal contract in place for them. And they understand that money will come from the grant. That's how they be made. <clears throat> I'm not so much concerned about the, about the funds. As I am, you know, the the city being obligated to Miss Alicia Robinson and, and, and of course to Miss uh, the other person, they said Debbie Price. That the fact that the city itself will be obligated, it, and the agreement has been made verbally. Now you're asking us tonight to give the mayor permission to sign this agreement. Is what it boils down to. Is that am I right? Well, the mayor, the, the mayor had an agreement with the Louisiana Economic Development. They could, they had to make it with the city of Winsboro. Yeah. The uh, economic development had to make it with the city. Right. And because the mayor represents the city, then right. now the next phase was for him to uh, get an agreement with someone to teach the course. And since he's done that, now we're saying let's just put it in writing, you know, formally. And you have, and, yeah, and you have the lesson of the council to give the mayor permission by way of this agreement to, 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 to honor this agreement. That's what, that's what, we, that's what we're that's signing. Correct. That's what we're about to make a motion on. What? That's correct. Okay. <clears throat> just, just for clarification, uh, the uh, enterprise was brought to the council in the form of an economic <coughs> uh, yes. two months ago. Yes, that report was the only thing we brought. <coughs> Time, I have a copy of it. It, uh, it was, that was the only thing that you brought at that particular time because other items were uh, to inf infinite stages and you didn't want to discuss them if I remember correctly. And this was the only one, the, uh, the micro enterprise was the only one that you actually commented on at that time. Right, that's right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I remember. And, and even to incur debt <coughs> for the city. It, even though the money's going to be paid by the grant, right. it still has to get counted out. Right. Right. Well, and that's, the point. that's where we are. That's correct. Yeah. Any other questions? Do we have any other agreements or anything else out there that's like this that the council needs to be aware of before they brought, they're brought to the table on the nights of the, uh, of the council meeting? No, if they no, are, we'd like for you to bring them to us and let us take a look at them. Uh, at least fill us in on these things, you know. Uh, so that we can be aware when we come to the meeting in order to make them uh, decide if you have anything that's in making you know of this nature um, if, at least let us know so we, we can be we can discuss it or we can be aware of it uh, so that we can be prepared to uh, support it or make a decision one way or the other. I would definitely do that. Thank you so much. Second, all in favor, say aye. 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 
Does the record reflect that it's unanimously approved?